Hi guys, Love Book Triangle Lindsay here, and in this video I'm going to be talking about my top 5 authors. Now this is in no particular order, these are just some of my favorite authors that I enjoy reading. First I'm going to talk about Cassandra Clare. She is the author of the Shadowhunters franchise, and I'm going to say franchise instead of series because she has written so many of these books. There's The Infernal Devices, The Mortal Instruments, The Dark Artifices, then she has books like The Bane Chronicles and The Shadowhunter Academy, which is a whole bunch of short stories compiled into one. She has some more books coming out this year. She has also written some books with Holly Black, which is the Magisterium series, and those books are kind of a knockoff Harry Potter, I would say, and I guess people either kind of love them or they hate them because some of them that I've found for people who have reviewed them who don't like that book series just don't like them because the fact that it is kind of a knockoff Harry Potter and they like the Harry Potter world so much better. I mean, I think the those books are good for what they are because it's still fun. It's a different kind of magic you're learning about. And it's they're still fun reads. I have read all of them except the last one. The first one in that series is called The Iron Trial, if you would like to know. And I just really love her Shadow Hunter series world. If you don't know, I have talked about it in some of my videos before, but the Shadow Hunters are humans but they have special abilities where they fight demons so us mundanes in the world don't have to worry about such things or we don't even know they exist because the shadow hunters take care of them there is downworlders like werewolves vampires warlocks and the thing i really like about this franchise is that once you read one series and you go on to the next, you still get a new set of characters, but you still get the glimpses of the characters that you fell in love with in the first place. Sometimes it's just little drops here and there, and other times the characters come back and play bigger parts. And that's what I really appreciate, because it's something that I love so much, you didn't want to let it go when the series ends, and it, it just keeps continuing. So that's something that I really love that Claire does, and I just really enjoy her writing. Another author that I really enjoy is Sarah J. Mass. She is the author of the Throne of Glass series and A Court of Thorns and Roses series. The Throne of Glass series just wrapped up. I believe there is seven books plus this is a whole bunch of novellas. And then A Court of Thorns and Roses has three main books. She, she came out with a novella not too long ago and I do believe she's going to continue with that series but it's not going to follow the main characters it's going to follow some of the side characters which I'm still interested in and a uh, throw in the glass series if you're if you don't know about it is about an assassin who is in jail she got caught and the king is looking for a, a king's champion and they pull her out of jail and she's competing for this position while she's competing, she's finding out a lot of information about herself that she never knew before. And it's a whole journey of getting out of prison, being the tough assassin that she has been trained to be, and now also learning about her new identity and trying to get comfortable in that role as well. This series you meet so many different characters along the way and I love that you get all their point of views and I feel like Sarah does a really good job of making each character's part important. When I read it, I didn't feel like there was a character that wasn't important and the information that you got from them it just it's all going to tie into the story and that's what I enjoy because sometimes when you get multiple characters it's just too much but I think each one really had an importance in the series and in her Court of Thorns and Roses series there's a girl who ends up killing 
an animal and she's really just trying to get food to provide for her family but this animal is actually a fae in disguise and her punishment is to go into the fae world and be with them and there's a guy there that she ends up falling for but this guy and his court are under a spell and she gets tangled up in that mess and she's fighting her way out of it and again you get a multiple set of different characters and she does a good job at having each one play their part. Another author that I really enjoy is Ellen Hopkins. The reason why I really enjoy her books is that she writes about subjects that some people may not be comfortable writing or reading about. She writes about suicide, depression, different sexual orientations, drug, sex trafficking, gun violence, and it's just a lot of things she writes about. And one thing I think is kind of special is that she shares her personal story in some of her first books in the series Crank. It's about a girl who has it all. She goes to visit her dad for a summer and next thing you know she is a drug addict and that is Ellen writing about her actual daughter. So it's pretty brave in my opinion to take something that big and that personal and to write a book series about it. But I just really love how she hits those hard subjects and I also love how she writes. She writes in a different kind of poem form and I just like the different way that's written too. And there are usually a lot of character point of views she follows as well and I just enjoy that she hits the subjects that some of us might be afraid to talk about. Another author that I enjoy is Jay Cronover. She has a whole bunch of different series. She has The Marked Men, The Saints of Denver, Welcome to the Point, Breaking Point, This is from the Getaway series, and there are a few standalones in there as well, I believe. I have read a lot of her books. I still have a few to go. Really like the different settings she takes you in. Like this series, set of friends want to get away and instead of doing something like going to a beach or spa vacation, a girl convinces her friend to go to this ranch and go horseback riding. But it's exciting because on their trip, they actually come across a field of people growing drugs and a lot of stuff happens. This is the first book in the series Retreat. The first series I read by her, The Marked Men, I really enjoyed a lot of the male characters are tattoo artists or they know each other somehow and I just like the different backgrounds of each guy because none of them really comes from these great lives, these great backgrounds and I just like seeing how they take these hardships and turning it into the life they had and how they meet the girl leads and I like how all the characters mesh together in this series as well. So they are just really enjoyable reads. I really like her writing style and she's an author. I definitely recommend. The last author that is on my list is Colleen Hoover. I really, really enjoy her books, but her books are the ones that make me cry. I don't think I've ever cried as much as I have cried while reading Colleen's books. She has written books like Ugly Love, November 9, Confess, This Is All Your Perfects. I'm actually reading this right now. I just started it last night. She has Hopeless, Losing Hope. There's the Slam series. She has a Never Never series she wrote with Taryn Fisher, Too Late. So there's so much and I'm trying to remember them all. But she has a lot of books. Oh, it Ends With Us and Without Merit are some to add to that list as well but she has a different range of topics that she hits. Her characters are just really nice to read about and she does 
hits on some tough subjects sometimes and that's probably why it makes me cry but I just really like her writing style and there's just something about the stories that she tells that always has me bawling and I know when I start getting towards the end of her books I just need to have a tissue on hand and it is really cool because her book Confess actually got made into a little series and it was fun to watch that with my friends. I really enjoy her books. So there you have it. Those are my top five favorite authors. Again, in no particular order. Let me know down below if you enjoy any of these authors or have read any books by them. And also tell me what are some authors that you really enjoy that you would recommend. That's it for now, guys. Till next time. Bye.